Hey runners, it's Holly from The Run Experience. Today I've got a classic dumbbell strength workout for runners. We are gonna hit three of my favorite movements, ones that I believe to work the best for your run form and your overall strength. I will walk you through everything head to toe. Let's get into the workout. So let's jump into the strength workout. For all three movements in this workout, you're going to be using a set of dumbbells. I encourage you to use something maybe a little heavier than you're used to, um, as we're going to be using this entire workout to challenge your core stability, challenge your overhead shoulder position, as well as just give you a nice boost to your strength, your overall strength. We're gonna to get to the bare bones of this, not just moving through to sweat this time, but really trying to build some confidence and some increased stability for your running and for everything else that you do as an athlete. So I've got my two dumbbells here. We're gonna start with a dumbbell deadlift. To pick anything up heavy off the ground, even if it feels a little light to you at first, you're gonna to wanna to get those hips nice and low, bend the knees so that when you pick them up, you have a nice straight back, tight core, and you're not gonna get hurt. So I bend down, pick these guys up. I'm gonna have the dumbbells right in front of my thighs here, starting with my shoulders back. Chin is gonna remain neutral, so I'm always gonna have it in line with the spine. I'm gonna stick my hips back, keeping mostly straight legs, but slightly bending knees to give myself a little room there. I'm gonna hinge from the hips, sliding those dumbbells down till I get about mid-shin mid here. Chin, again, is just in line with the spine. From here, pushing those hips forward, I'm gonna stand up, squeeze the butt. Showing you from the side a little bit more. Chin neutral, hips back, mostly straight legs, just a little bend there to keep the knees behind the toes. I go mid-shin, and then I push the hips forward at the top. Never ever letting my shoulders round forward like this or letting the dumbbells get away from me such that I'm then using the low back to lift the weight. Two more reps here just to show you guys. In real time, squeeze it up. And using those lats to keep the dumbbells close to you, squeezing up. In the next one, we will do a squat to an overhead press. So we've got those hamstrings firing, we've got the core on, and we've got our shoulders nice and stable. Our next movement is gonna be a squat with the dumbbells to an overhead press with the weight. So we're gonna pick these guys up the same way that we did for the deadlift, so nice low hips. You can get them up to your hips. If these are super heavy, you're gonna to have to do what's called a clean, which we won't get into. It's a little bit more complicated than what we have time for today. Um, but if they're about medium weight, you can kind of just get these guys up to a front rack position. So the weights are gonna kind of rest on my shoulders. My goal is a nice high elbow position, also squeezing the elbows together. I don't wanna let them flare out or drop because you will find out in a couple seconds, it's gonna make this way harder. <laughs> so you wanna create a shelf for those dumbbells. I stand up nice and tall, I'm about hips width apart, a little wider than that for that squat. I'm gonna squat down like a normal air squat, pressing the knees out, really shoving those elbows up and together. And from here, I'm gonna stand, 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 extend the hips up, and I'm gonna press overhead. Doing that strict is pretty hard, what we're gonna do is make it a dynamic movement so you use the legs to help the arms. So I squat down, core on, and as I explode out, I pop them up. Back down to the shoulders, squat down, pop up at the bottom. Facing you guys, keeping those elbows up, keeping that shelf on, belly tight, squatting down, knees out, and from here, press out of the heels and up. Putting those down. Remember guys, neutral head here too, don't let that neck get a little wrenched and try to follow with the chin. Keep it neutral so that as you go down and up, you're keeping everything else stable around the weights. Here we go, our last movement with these dumbbells. I'm not gonna lie to you, I might have saved the hardest for the last, <laughs> but we're gonna find out real quick. You are, guys are gonna use the two dumbbells as a support system in a plank and we're gonna combine it with a little row. So what that looks like is you're gonna keep those dumbbells right under the shoulders, so exactly shoulder width apart here. You're gonna find a plank position, but you're gonna widen those legs so you have a bigger base than you normally would in a normal plank. So I spread those feet out nice and wide. Core is super tight here, butt is really squeezed, and you're gonna keep everything as tight as you can, and then you're gonna row a, a dumbbell back towards you. So I'm gonna engage the lat, which is right under here. I'm gonna pull that down, and I'm gonna pull the weight back up towards my body and back down. With the opposite side that I'm not rowing back, I'm digging into the ground to create some stability through my oblique. So I'm gonna do the other side. Now I press in with my left arm, pull back with my right, and back down. 
elbows staying super tight to the side. So you notice I'm not winging. The other thing I'm not doing, and I'll face this way so you can see, I'm not letting my body get wrenched up to the side so I'm twisting and dropping with my hips. If I am starting to do that and I can't help it, the weight is probably too heavy. So find that plank, nice wide base here, pressing in with the opposite side, breathing here, just like this. The wrong version would be something like this because at that point, you're not working on core stability, you're actually just compromising it to do whatever you need to do to get the weight off the ground, which isn't the point of this. In the last section, I will tell you guys how we will put all of this together. So let's put all this stuff together. You've got three movements, we're combining them into one workout. Like I said at the beginning, the goal here is to build strength, really forcing ourselves to get on these heavy dumbbells, force our body to address it and get stronger along the way. That core and the shoulder stability will thank you. Now we're gonna do five to eight reps of the dumbbell deadlift as well as the squat to overhead press. So find something in that range that you can handle at the weight you've chosen. Then you're going to do 10 total of the plank to row. So five on each side. You are gonna do this for four rounds. You're gonna throw in your rest as you need to between the rounds, catching that breath. Again, we're trying to move well here. We're not trying to move fast. If you are looking for more of a sweaty, kind of quicker, higher paced workout, Feel free to drop down to lighter dumbbells and add some reps. You can do 10 to 15 reps of everything. You can keep the 10 of the, the row at the end, but for the dumbbell deadlift and the squat to overhead press, feel free to increase the reps. Keep the rounds the same, you know, and just, and just kind of move quicker through that. But again, I encourage you to try the heavier weights. I know you guys can do it. I look forward to hearing. Thanks again for joining me for that workout. If you guys are looking to up your running strength or just overall running training, you should check out our training club. For seven days free, you can do a trial just down in the description, hit that link below. You'll be able to have access to all of our programs from beginner running all the way up through marathon training, as well as our supplementary programs, including our running strength program, nutrition, and all of that great stuff for injury prevention. If you liked this video, make sure you give that thumbs up down below. If you have any comments or questions for me or requests for future videos, I am always looking at the comments, so make sure you drop those there. And lastly, make sure you subscribe to the channel. We have way more than just workouts on here. We have all tips around running training, everything in between with your strength training, your nutrition, extra tips around sleep, and everything you could possibly imagine. So subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. I will catch you guys in the next workout. Thanks for watching.